Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a prime number generator. So we're going to want to put these prime numbers into a list. So I'm going to make this now, call it prime numbers. All right, so here it is. All right, so let's start this by using a forever loop. Let's make a variable number being checked. So that so what it'll do is check every number to see if it's prime, and then if it is, it'll add it to the list. So we'll start with the number one, and then what we want to do is check if it's divisible by anything. What we need is another number uh, that'll be ask if it's divided by. I'll set that to two. So we'll attempt to use modulo. And if you don't know, uh, modulo uh, checks the remainder of its of them being divided. So if that remainder is equal to zero, uh, then we know that uh, it's not prime because it's divisible by this set this prime to false and now we want to say if prime is still true after all those checks then we can know for sure that it's prime so what we want to do is add the number that's being checked to the prime numbers list and this should be it. This should be the entire code to generate prime numbers. Something's gone wrong. So these have to be outside the repeat until. All right, so we want to uh, get rid of all the prime numbers so that we don't have like a messy list if we hit the green flag twice. Divided by, so that it checks if it's divided by all the numbers. And we change the number that's being checked down here uh, after we finish figuring out whether or not it's prime and now let's try it and as you can see it runs through and it does generate a couple of prime numbers uh, so as you can see in that 10 second period it generated a good amount of prime numbers but we can actually make this faster um why do we need to go all the way up to the number being checked? Think about this. If we have a number that's more than the square root of the number being checked and we divide it, we're going to and it's divisible by that number, then we end up with another number left over that is less than the square root that is also divisible by that number. So we only need to check up to the square root of the number before we figure out that it's obviously prime. Right, so we want divided by to be squared actually. Um, because we want the square of this number to actually be greater than the number being checked. So now if we hit the green flag you can see that it's going up quite a bit faster. Uh, so we can actually make this even faster by putting it in turbo mode. And so now, as you can see, uh, it only takes a few seconds to generate 1500 prime numbers, which is pretty fast if you ask me. Um, and the difference between checking only up to the square root and checking all the numbers uh, starts getting increased as uh, the numbers get bigger because a bigger number like 10,000 has the square root of only 100, which means you only have to check up to 100 instead of all the way up to 10,000, so it's 100 times faster. Um, but yeah. But hey, wait a minute. 
we could make this even faster. We only need to check if it's divisible by numbers that are already prime. We do know some of the numbers that are prime, specifically ones that are less than the number that we're checking. And so what we can do is only check the prime numbers. So uh, we can keep this divided by variable. And we can actually say item divided by of prime numbers. And we can multiply that by itself if a number being checked mod that is equal to zero. And then, so now if I do it, so now you can see it's trying to check an item of the list, but there is no item in the list, so it's not going to work. So what we want, what we need to do is we need to put two in there already. And we probably want to set this to three, uh, just to make sure it doesn't put two in twice. Uh, and we also want to check, set this to one, so that it does check if it's divisible by two, which is the first item of the list. And now, as you can see, uh, it starts generating numbers. And it's only checking the prime numbers, so this should be quite a bit faster. It's checking... It's only checking uh, seven numbers right now instead of uh, 17 numbers. So if we put this in turbo mode, should be quite a bit faster. So now you can see that it's only taking two or three seconds to get the first 2,000. And then after that, it starts to slow down, but that's only because the numbers are getting bigger. So as you can see, it's checking the number 30,000 right now. And so it's checking like 60 prime numbers. So there is one other thing that you can do. So right here, uh, before we were checking if it wasn't prime and what we were doing is we were continuing the loop even when we knew it wasn't prime. So here I fixed that. So as you can see, it says repeat until item divided by a prime numbers squared is less than the number being checked as we had before. Or, and then this is just number being checked mod item divided by a prime numbers equals zero. So it'll exit the loop uh, whether they've proven, whether it's proven that it's prime. Uh, and of course, it will have proven it was prime because it would have previously already exited the loop because it figured this out. Um, but uh, since it didn't, it will have proved it was prime. And so this uh, will not be equal to zero. And it will move on to do this. Uh, or it will find a point where number being checked mod item divided by a prime number is equal zero uh, to prove that it's not uh, prime. So down here, when it asks, uh, where's the proof of it not being prime? It'll uh, get shown it. Uh, it'll check if the number that was being checked modulo the item that it was divided by is in fact equal to zero and then it will set prime to false but if it realized that instead it got to the end uh, then prime will still be true and it will be able to add the number that was being checked to the prime number list so now if you if i green flag you can see that it's quite a bit faster uh, we're already checking number 60,000. We already have 7,000 prime numbers and I've only been running it for about 5 or 10 seconds. So this really is much faster uh, than it was before. 
and uh, as you can see, it's starting to slow down as the numbers get bigger, but it's still uh, relatively fast, much faster than it was before. Um, as the numbers get bigger, it will, of course, get slower at finding them because it needs to check more numbers. Uh, but as you can see, it's still staying below 100 numbers that it's checking. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.